guys, I'm back. This is Trisha with another DIY project, how to make a floor poof. And this is my final results here. I've been seeing this on Pinterest and I finally decided to make it. So I wanted to show you step-by-step -step how I did it. If you're interested, just keep watching. Here are the items you'll need for the project. Bing bag filling, a sewing machine, pen or pencil, fabric of your choice, fabric scissors, invisible zipper, a straight ruler, and straight pins. First, let's start off by ironing our fabric and laying it out. We make sure our right sides are together. Um, this is the particular fabric that I got from Ikea, but you can purchase it anywhere, online, or Joann, you name it. So now we want to measure our squares. We're gonna need two squares. If you fold it right sides together, you're gonna to get two squares. Make sure it is 23 inches by 23 inches. Now we want to measure our sides. Make sure they're 23 by 12. You'll have to cut two pieces, so that makes four. And then we're gonna mark a half inch seam allowance outside of the mark that we've made. Now we can cut our fabric. Now we want to lay out our cut pieces. You'll see we should have three pieces, but really it's six pieces. So we're gonna take one of our big squares and then one of our sides and place it right sides together. So I purchased this invisible um, zipper. It is 20 to 22 inches in length, which is perfect for this um, poof. So I'm just gonna measure where I want the zipper to stop, which is like a half, uh, inch and a half away from the edge and I'm just gonna pin it or mark it off. And this is where it's gonna just uh, be a guide as to how I'm going to, um, where I'm gonna start basing. So I'm using my sewing machine and what I wanna do is just do a regular stitch up to where I have my pins. And then once I get to my pins, I'm just gonna do a back stitch and then I'm going to increase my stitch length and you just press the plus symbol if you have a brother sewing so machine up to 5.0. So basically a base stitch is just a temporary stitch that we'll do and we will remove it later. So once I get to the other point, then I'm going to back stitch and then decrease to 2.5 um, to shorten my um, stitch length. Next, we're going to center the zipper in between the seam that we just created. Make sure your zipper is face down. Next, we're going to switch out our zipper foot. I'm going to use a special foot that is used for zippers. And then I'm just gonna sew along the side of the zipper on both sides. Once you finish, it looks just like that. I'm going to take a seam ripper and remove that base stitch that we did. And then open up the um, zipper. So that's what it looks like. So now what we're gonna do is sew B to C and C to D. And I did a diagram for you. So this is what it looks like. It should look like this. And now we're gonna sew our sides together. And that's E to C and C to F. Now we're gonna sew all our sides together. Where you see my finger, that's where we're gonna sew. And it's gonna start forming a square. So F to B, B to E, E to D, D to F. And then after you do that, you're going to sew A to those edges. And it should look something like this. So now we want to turn it inside out. And then we have those threads um, hanging. So we want to trim the thread and then trim any excess uh, fabric that we have. And then you want to turn it inside out and it should look something like this. Now we're going to take the beanbag filling. Make sure you get the 100 liters if you're going to use this size. 
literally I use all of it I cannot believe I use this entire bag so what you want to do is just cut a corner um, to minimize the amount of mess that you'll make you're going to make mess but this is what it looks like so just pour it um, you see all the bees going everywhere right so you're going to try to aim as good as you can and then just put it in the poof and then zip it up and you're finished this is the end result this was my first time I think that you guys can do it also but you have to know how to sew you don't have to be accurate with your sewing you just need to know how to sew um, so I hope you enjoyed this project as much as I did if you don't know how to sew just let me know I can create a video just for you Hey, did you check out the tufted ottoman that I did last week? Just click on the video to check it out. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe below and on Instagram at Designs by Tricia. What DIY project would you like to see next? Add your idea in the comment section below. See you next time.